Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on it's a long range weather forecast discussion for March 5th to the 19th. There's still talk um, about the MJO going into phase eight. And that's a cold phase uh, for the eastern U.S. And um, the cold air will come to the northeast as the plane warms. And looking at phase two, that is, um, could go into two, it could also go into, has cold air overwhelming the pattern. Now, um, the European EPO, which I showed that yesterday, is negative and allows for cold air into the pattern during uh, this period coming up. Now, the period of March 15th to the 30th is um, the notorious two weeks for March weather especially in the Northeast. And next weekend, the European and the AO, or this weekend coming up, the European NAO and the PNA possible for cold and stormy signal could lead to, could possibly lead to a snowstorm along the East Coast, but that seems to be fading and I'll show you that in a minute. So um, we're gonna look at the period now from March 5th to the 9th. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're going to look at the period for the 5th to the 9th. And we have a ridge here near the Aleutians. Trough here extended from the Bering Sea along into the east. We also have a trough here along the east coast with strong positive height anomalies here near Greenland and with above normal heights in between. Now, um, during this period... We'll take a look now at what I'm talking about. We will have a, um, we'll go to the fifth. This system here in the Southern Plains, in the Southern Plains here, is forecast to still dive down into the Gulf of Mexico and lift out by the weekend. This was, was to be a possible snowstorm far along the uh, East Coast, but that moves out and then it intensifies as it moves eastward away from the coast so that's the european no that's the gfs the european doesn't really show this feature very much goes to the gulf and then loses it or further set there it is for the side and then goes out and then european um ensembles same thing brings it further south across um cuba and so forth, and then out so and then behind that system, as you can see right here, we have cold high pressure that will be building back in. So this is a signal for cold that I'm talking about that will be occurring with, um, with the EPO negative. So um, this is what we're forecasting here. Now, we have another system that will move through the Rockies and weakens as it moves into the plains over the weekend or the start of next week. We have another system here and moves into, whoops, I'm losing it. This system right here moves into the plains, you can see by the GFS, and then dissipates as it moves eastward. And we have a fairly strong disturbance moving into the west. The west remain unsettled with uh, periods of uh, heavy rain and mountain snows. And this will spread into portions of the Rockies as we go through the week. Okay, March. Oh, th this is what I want to show. I was thinking it hit. Um, this was on um, Joe Bastardi's uh, Weather Bell site. And um, he made an interesting point. Because this is the period for um, March 9th to the 13th, 1956. This is what it was. Cold in the west, warm in the east. And look what's what forecast. See the similarity? I go here. Cold West, so there's a similarity here at what's to come, okay? Um, now we're going to look at the period for uh, for March 10th to the 14th. And a ridge forecast remain near the Aleutians or south of the Aleutians with the zone of flow and above normal heights across much of the country. You can see here with a trough here in the east. Miles of good agreement 
So for this forecast period, I am forecasting below normal temperatures west of the divide, forecasting anomalies of at least 4 to 8 degrees below normal. Above normal temperatures are forecast from the plains to the Mississippi, I mean, from the plains to the Atlantic coast, with anomalies near 6 degrees above normal, greatest anomalies here. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation for this region, probability of occurrence is 35 to 40 percent. And then we have below normal precipitation across much of this region here, probability of occurrence is 35 percent. Looking at the period for for March 15th to 19th, we uh, models a pretty good agreement. We have a ridge here, out near the Aleutians, and along the east coast, trough in the east. But um, all the models are showing uh, uh, below normal heights here across um, Greenland, except for the European, which keeps the heights above normal. And a zone of flow went near to below normal heights across much of the country. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting little change in the temperature anomalies. And for precipitation, calling for above normal precipitation for this region here, probability of occurrence is up to 40%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for March 5th to 19th. Thanks for coming to Jim Mullins World of Weather and have a good day.